What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel and some more Hail Zeser faction coverage. So today we're taking a look at an interesting list that is the Spanish Visigoths. So I think we've actually covered the Visigoths previously, but this is a little bit of a different variant on that. So as part of the history, right, the Spains came to rule southern Gaul and Spain in more of the early 5th centuries, and then gradually moved around. So one of the things that's interesting about this list is just uh, some of the different categories uh, that we have to build by. So we have plenty of infantry and cavalry overall, but the restrictions here are the thing that makes this list interesting, right? So cavalry can be, or has to be actually 25% or more of the list, and infantry has to be 50 or more. So at a minimum, we, it'll be 75, 25, or we could do like 50, 50 or something in there, as long as we hit those categories. But each of those actually has a sub requirement here. So of the cavalry, heavy cavalry has to be at least half of that. So and we'll see our options there. And similarly, the thufa, if we're pronouncing that right, which is basically militia, um, has to be 25% or more of the infantry. So uh, this gives you some interesting options where you can have some more elite type units or really just go all in on like a horde uh, aspect for the infantry backed up by some powerful cavalry to hopefully smash some things. So really interesting um, breakdown on that. So overall, not a very long list, so we're not going to be overly spoiled with choices, but we have, again, those interesting building requirements. So we start off with the infantry here. And there we have uh, the medium infantry, Thufa, with spears. Uh, so we actually have medium infantry, essentially militia, um, with spears and or javelins. So again, basic profile, basic cost, so very just box standard stuff there. But we could also give them, as a separate unit here, there is the long spear variant, which actually costs three extra points. Same stats, although, although the short range things, um, uh, the short range stat is modified there, right? Because we lose essentially the javelin component. So probably a good idea to have a mix of those, right? Since we have to take Thufa in some capacity. Then we also just get another one here, medium infantry Thufa with mixed long spear and bows for two more points. And really that seems just like the ideal unit, right? So no special rules or anything in this part of the list, but again, we have long spears and bows giving us not just short range ability, but also able to reach out and do some damage at long range. So again, a, a basic toolbox unit, but you know, um, and in quantity too, right? Because we have to have at least 25% of the infantry, could be all the infantry, be these guys. So um, they don't appear overly special here, right? But again, you have a unit that can hold its own and be okay in hand-to-hand -hand fighting, but ideally they can pepper the enemy with some shots before it gets to that point, so maybe they'll start up by a couple of wounds. And, you know, masses of these units, block after block after block, throwing lots of missile fire at the opposing army will hopefully cause enough damage, or maybe if you want to sort of focus down a unit to really um, maybe then work on punching some holes in the enemy line, could be very interesting with that approach there. We move on, they also have light infantry archers, so again, not skirmishers here, we'll, we'll get to that in a second, but actually just light infantry, so regular unit, no, no small unit uh, requirement here, archers, so again, just more, plenty of missile firepower, we should say, um, and then the small unit stat line there. We have a basic skirmisher package, right, so javelins as small units, but then we also bring back slings, we haven't seen those in a while, or bows as small units as well. Again, no restrictions on those outside of our normal skirmisher restrictions. So 11 and 12 points respectively. So again, plenty of range firepower in this list uh, to supplement the heavy hitters, which again, the infantry is going to do okay, but really the, the cavalry is going to have to do a lot of the heavy lifting here with some good charges. And we get some pretty solid cavalry here. Visigoth heavy cav, the Busilari, um, or Busilari. Busiari, however, I don't know how we pronounce that. Hit us up in the comments if you know how to pronounce proper Visigoth uh, names there. Uh, but anyway, uh, good old heavy cav, right? Um, clash of nine, six on the sustain. So again, we got to do as much damage on that charge if possible. Four up save, and these guys are eager. We haven't seen that too often, but that's cool to have. 30 points there. And then basically get our sort of elite guard type unit, right? So the Fidelis uh, heavy cav with spears up to one unit so again you know if you're playing any decent sized game and you have these like special units basically where you just get the one max and they're actually pretty good no reason not to take it right so in addition to eager for one extra point we get tough fighters which is a hell of a bargain right um that that's pretty cool on a cavalry unit 
We get some solid medium cav as well with spears again. Uh, also eager for 27 points. Again, basic stat line. Nothing special there, but nice to have uh, another eager unit again, although that can get you in trouble. And then finally, light cavalry, eager light cavalry, um, which again, as a normal size unit, because usually we're used to seeing light cav in small units um, with the list restrictions, that's actually still clocking in at a clash of seven, so very respectable, and cer certainly should hopefully threaten some uh, like flank type units, skirmisher type units, and things like that. And overall, we still get leadership eight, so nothing, um, nothing super fancy, no leadership nine guys, which we wouldn't expect, and we're not penalized by having to make all this work with leadership seven. So overall, a fun list again. Uh, something worth maybe trying out, right? Uh, different um, build requirements here, the cab and infantry. So we have to have a little bit of both. Uh, now we do lack artillery and we do lack, you know, the fancier crazy things like elephants, of course, which, you know, they wouldn't have had. But of of that list, so we can, again, go very balanced cab, cab and infantry or, you know, really go all in on the infantry. I'd say, you know, just pack in as many of those Theof as you can. And maybe you know just a couple light uh, light archer units, and then some skirmishers here and there, which again isn't going to count for the breakdown. But you know, of the three Thufa units, honestly, I feel like overall just going with the the best unit there of the three overall. Again, the the mixed long spear and bow unit just lets you do basically everything you need to. Although some of the javelin units could be useful as well, just for the the cheaper point cost. And again, just very solid all the way across the board. Could be a fun, nasty surprise um, for an opponent to try and deal with, and fun just to try and make work as a as a general in your own right. Again, you have very versatile infantry backed up with some very solid cavalry, and you know nothing fancier than that. So you you don't have any over the top units. Again, even that that one Fidelis unit is is, is good. But it's not, you know, it's not uh, cream of the crop compared to some of the other, you know, top tier units that we've seen across some of the other more famous lists or famous armies. But again, I think this is just a fun one. And overall, probably not something you're going to see too often. Um, again, a lot of these late antiquity, dark age type lists um, don't seem to be a lot of uh, limelight in the gaming uh realm uh, so much in some of these ancient uh, games. So model-wise, it's going to be interesting to figure out what to really field for them. But again, I think this could be a fun challenge and just a fun list to play. Hit us up in the comments, guys, with your thoughts on the Spanish Spanish Visigoths uh, for Hail Caesar here and um, how you rate this list and what you your thoughts are on maybe trying something like this out. Uh, historically, if you're looking for some things there, I love, again, that Warlord always includes this. So, you know, Yurik, Alaric II, Leo the Guild, and all the different battles and stuff. So, give you guys some inspiration on that. So, hit us up in the comments, guys. Like and subscribe, as always. Support the channel with uh, the link in the comment below, and we will see you in the next one. Take care.